Hi, I'm Steve Jameson, and this is the story of Inch and Miles, the journey to success by the legendary coach John Wooden and Peanut Louie Harper and me. The fantastic illustrations are by the very artistic Sue Cornelison, and it's published by the amazing publishing company Perfection Learning and Steve Key. And now, let the story begin. It is the last day before summer vacation, and Inch and Miles have one last test from their teacher, Mr. Wooden. He has just written this question on the board. What is success? Miles tries first. That's easy. Success is winning a shiny gold medal or a trophy for first place. Inch is quiet, but not for long. Success is being the most popular kid at school and having the most friends. Mr. Wooden shakes his head from side to side and a frown crosses his face. They try again and even louder. Toys, Mr. Wooden. Success is having the best toys. Inch and Miles, their teacher replies. You have a lot to learn about success and what it is and what it is not. Listen to these wise words from a person who really knows about success. She is a tennis legend and her name is Billie Jean King. Success isn't having trophies or toys. It isn't a medal or friends of your choice. What is success? That's easy to see. It's trying to be the best you can be. Don't worry about what others may have or might say. When trying your best, success comes your way. Thank you, Billie Jean. You are absolutely correct. Success is happiness in your heart because you made the effort 100% to be your personal best. Inch and Miles exchange puzzled looks. But Mr. Wooden, how do we do that? How do we try 100% to be our best? Mr. Wooden turns and slowly unlocks the drawer of his old oak desk and removes a small object wrapped in a tattered green cloth. As Mr. Wooden unfolds the cloth, Inch and Miles see a shiny, sparkling silver whistle. This whistle is very special, Mr. Wooden tells Inch and Miles. Take it to the edge of the schoolyard. You'll be surprised at what happens when you give it a loud hooty toot toot. Here with a very big clue is tennis champion Tracy Austin. You'll meet special friends who are good teachers too. Each one has a message, especially for you. To learn how to try 100%, just ask them for clues, you'll be glad that you went. Then you will find my pyramid of success. Each of its blocks helps bring out your best. Listen and learn and do as they tell. You'll then see success as clear as a bell. Tracy Austin, thank you very much. Inch and Miles can't wait to start searching for the pyramid of success. Soon, they'll know how to make the effort 100% to be their personal best and achieve success. They race to the edge of the schoolyard. Miles shouts, Inch, take a deep breath and give that whistle a hearty hooty toot toot. Inch blows on the whistle till his face is blue. Their school and all the noise of the schoolyard disappear far below as they travel far away before landing safe and sound thud on the ground. Suddenly, they hear a voice shouting at them. Hey, the voice yells, be careful. You almost squashed me flat. The voice comes from a little ant. Miles speaks first. Uh, excuse us, uh, Mr. Ant. Uh, we're looking for clues to the pyramid of success. Can you help? First of all, my name is Axelrod, not Mr. Ant, the ant replies. And second, if you're looking for a clue to the pyramid, pay attention because I'm working very hard and I am very busy. But listen to what Kathy Rinaldi has to say. I may be small, 
That's very true. But I succeed, and so can you. I move a mountain bit by bit. It takes hard work. I never sit. I work and work throughout the day. My work comes first before I play. Success is yours. Please understand when you and work go hand in hand. Inch and miles, figure it out fast. Hard work is the very first block of the pyramid, Inch shouts. Thank you, Kathy, Miles chimes in. Thank you, Axelrod. But they got a lot more work to do. Inch gives the silver whistle a loud hooty toot toot. Suddenly, the travelers find themselves perched atop a towering tree next to Ron the Robin, <laughs> who cheerfully chirps, hey, here's a great clue from Andrea Yeager. I sing my song with joyful heart. In your success, joy plays a part. Enthusiasm in your smile, combined with work, you'll find worthwhile. The energy and pep you show will rub off on those you know. Don't make excuses, complain or whine. Enjoy your work and success you'll find. With that, Rhonda flutters, flaps, and flies away. Inch and Miles have learned that enthusiasm is the next block of the pyramid. They shout their thanks to Andrea and Rhonda, but oh, they're so excited, they lose their grip on the branch and they go tumbling head over, paws towards the ground far below. Miles yells, blow the whistle. Hey, blow the whistle loud, Inch, with enthusiasm. Hootie toot toot blares the shining silver whistle and suddenly from out of nowhere, a long hairy arm plucks Inch and Miles out of the air. The hairy arm belongs to Charlie the Chimp, Swinging from tree to tree to tree, looking for bright yellow bananas. Charlie offers them the next clue by introducing Anne Austin. My friends are like family. I share with them, they share with me. Respect your friends in all you do, and they'll give back respect to you. You'll find success if this you learned. The gift of friendship must be earned. To make a friend, I do believe that you yourself, a friend must be. Friendship, shouts Inch. Friendship has to be the next block of the pyramid. Charlie smiles and swings off in search of another yellow banana, while Inch and Miles shout, thank you, Anne, thank you, Charlie, thanks a lot, and they give a hearty toot toot on the magical whistle. To their great surprise, Inch and Miles find themselves next to a furry, slobbering sheepdog named Shep. Our travelers ask him, can you help us? We want to learn how to try 100% to do our very best. The friendly sheepdog smiles and barks out the next guest star, Mary Pierce. I'll wag my tail when you're feeling bad. I'll cheer you up if you're kind of sad. I'm honest and fair, and my word is true. When others run out, I'll be there for you. Loyalty is a trait built upon trust. Others must see you as truthful and just. I'm telling you now, when the going gets tough, loyalty is important. No amount is too much. As Shep scampers off in search of a new bone, Inch says, Shep is talking about loyalty, right? Right, says Miles, just like we're loyal to each other through thick and thin. Miles is all smiles as Inch blows on the whistle, but not before saying, thank you, Mary. Thank you, Shep. Hootie toot toot, bippity boom, and off they zoom. What's that buzzing, Miles asks. Bees buzzing, says Inch. The travelers stand absolutely still on a beehive swarming with bumblebees. Welcome to our hive. I'm Betty, and I know why you're here, the friendly bee buzzes. Listen closely to what my friend Gigi Fernandez tells you. I'm one of millions in our hive. It looks confused as we all strive. We buzz around throughout the day. Cooperations are a sweet way. Work as one in all you do. When you help others, they'll help you. Seek to know what someone needs. 
then pitch right in and you'll succeed. As Betty buzzes away, Inch and Miles shout their thanks to Betty and Gigi. Cooperation is the next block on the pyramid. Bees making honey by working together. Cooperation. Blow the whistle. I wonder who's waiting for us next. And off they fly. Gloop, gloop, gloop. Inch and Miles are swimming right next to a beautiful rainbow-colored trout who gurgles the name of our next special guest, Chris Everett. If success is your great goal, you must practice self-control. Use common sense in all you do. Controlling emotions is helpful too. I knew a fish who took the bait, good judgment gone, the hook he ate. My friend was fried upon the grill. With self-control, he'd be here still. Inch and Miles have just learned that self-control is the next block of the pyramid of success and are very grateful to Chris Everett and to the beautiful fish with rainbows on its side. And with that, Inch blows a soggy hootie toot toot and away they go. Inch and Miles are standing in tall grass. Inch complains, uh, who's tickling me? Is that you, Miles? But he notices that a nose, a little nose, is twitching and tickling him. Attached to the nose, Rascal the Rabbit. I'm just making sure that you're friendly, says Rascal. There's a hungry fox in the neighborhood, and I got to keep paying attention on the lookout. Don't worry, Inch assures Rascal. We're only looking for clues to the pyramid of success. Oh, Rascal smiles. If it's clues you want, here's a good one from Pam Schreiber. My ears are as tall as telephone poles. My nose is like a button with holes. I listen and look and sniff around. I stay alert to sights and sounds. And one more thing that I should mention, alertness means you pay attention to all the things that others share. You'll learn so much more if you're aware. Alertness is the next block, says Inch. Pam is right. Keep our eyes open and our ears open. The nose too, says Miles. Sometimes you can smell trouble before it happens, just like Rascal. Rascal dashes off into the bushes just as the magical silver whistle shrills out another hooty toot toot. Inch and Miles suddenly hear a very strange noise coming from a hole in a nearby walnut tree. <laughs> crunch, crunch, crunch. It skittles the squirrel with the next clue for the pyramid of success. He wipes a few walnut crumbs off his chin and introduces a very special person, Vanya King. I scurry round and round each day. Taking action is my way. I get up and go and give it my all. When action's needed, I never stall. And when I look for lunch to eat, I'm not afraid to risk defeat. Don't fear failure, try your best. Take some action for success. Miles pipes up. Action means you can't just sit around all day. You have to get up and do something. Thank you, Vanya. Inch agrees and does something. He takes action. Hooty toot toot and off they go. Oh, whoa, says Miles. This, this lily pad hey, is slippery as soap. Hang on, Inch. Rivet croaks a small green frog on a nearby lily pad. I'm Fred. Inch gets right to the point. Fred? We're looking for a clue to Mr. Wooden's pyramid of success. Can you help us? Fred stays very still. He doesn't want to scare away any bugs. Listen carefully to what Zena Garrison has to say. Patiently, I wait and wait, knowing that a bug tastes great. Wait, I will, till a bug is mine, because success, of course, takes time. It's determination I must show to get the bugs I need to grow. So when a bug come whistling by, I snap my tongue and goodbye fly. Determination, shouts Inch. Determination is the next block of the pyramid. We must try and try and try and never give up. Hey, let's try, try, try to figure out the next clue. 
but not before we say thank you to Zena and Fred. Hootie toot toot blares the sparkling whistle. Clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clop. Inch and miles are bouncing up and down on the back of a sleek racehorse. Inch leans over to whisper in the horse's big ear. Can you help us find the next clue? Listen closely to what Martina Navratilova tells you, Hugh the horse whinnies. To run a race and do my best, I exercise to pass the test. I get my sleep and eat good food. Healthy thoughts improve my mood. When I'm fit to run the race, the other horses I outpace. Our fitness level must be great. Success requires a healthy state. Martina is right. Fitness, shouts Miles. We must eat good food, think good thoughts, and get plenty of rest. Inch smiles a big smile. Without warning, Hugh the horse bucks Inch and Miles into the air. Miles shouts, hurry up, blow the whistle, Inch, right now. Hootie toot toot, and off they fly. Inch and Miles are all tangled up. Inch, we're caught in a fishing net. Somebody must think we're flying fish, cries Miles. Don't worry, you're not caught in a fishing net. I'm Silky the spider spinning my web. But Gabriella Sabatini has some important information you can use. To weave a web demands great skill and snaring lunch is quite a thrill. Practice makes my webs grow finer. I'm a top-notch web designer. I pay attention to each detail. I do it right so I won't fail. I learn my skill through hours of drill. To find success, you must have skill. It shouts, skill, Miles. Skill, Miles adds. Practice hard. Keep on learning in the pyramid of success. Skill, very important. Skill, Gabriella. Thank you. You're absolutely right. Inch untangles the tangled arms to blow his whistle. Hooty toot toot, and off they scoot. Growls a gravelly gruff voice. Looming over Inch and Miles is a ferocious looking lion. We don't want to be your lunch. We need your help, cries Miles. We're searching for the final clues to Mr. Wooden's pyramid of success. Louis the lion growls, but it's a friendly growl. Your teacher, Mr. Wooden, is my friend. When I was a cub, he taught me an important block from his pyramid of success. Hey, listen to what peanut Louis Harper has to say. The team comes first, I must confide. I'm always eager to help the pride. I'll sacrifice my own desires and do for them what is required. Your team is part of who you are, but don't forget the team's the star. You help support and then you cheer it. To find success, show strong team spirit. Inch and Miles look up at Louis the Lion. His teeth are long and his breath is bad, but the clue is good. Team spirit is being eager to do what's best for your team. This says Miles. Louis growls in agreement and smiles and adds, You better run along. It's almost lunchtime and I am getting a little bit hungry. Inch thanks Peanut and Louis, but quickly blows on the whistle. Hootie toot toot and off they go. Wow! What a view, shouts Miles. We can see forever from up here. Inch and Miles are hanging from the talons of a high-flying eagle named Everett. I hope you're not afraid of heights, Everett warns. Please don't let go, Miles shouts above the wind. We can flap, but we cannot fly. Everett zooms above the earth like a feathery kite. Proudly, he introduces the one and only Mary Carrillo, who has the next Clue. I'm Everett the Eagle, flying free. There's no one else who's quite like me, and there's no one who's quite like you. So be yourself, because you are cool. With poise, you like the one you are. It gives you pride and takes you far. Poise is needed for success. Just be yourself. Yourself is best. 
Poise is a new word, and it's the next clue, Miles shouts. It just means to be yourself, and it means be proud of who you are. Thank you very much, Mary. That's right, agrees Inch. We are each special. We are each good. We should each like who we are because who we are is very good. Thanks, Everett. A big smile spreads across Everett's speak. Then without warning, he opens his claws and Inch and Miles drop like rocks through the air. Blow the whistle, hey, blow the whistle, Everett yells at them. The long scaly rock that Inch and Miles are standing on suddenly starts to move. I'm not a rock, I'm an alligator, the voice rumbles. Inch and Miles are standing on the long hard nose of Albert the alligator. I think I'm going to sneeze, says Albert. You're tickling my nose. Wait, the two friends exclaim. Don't sneeze. We need to find the final clue to Mr. Wooden's pyramid. Please help us before you sneeze. Albert's eyes are watering. Albert's nose is tickling. Albert can feel a mighty sneeze on the way. But first, Albert introduces Katrina Adams with the final clue of Mr. Wooden's pyramid of success. Many are taller, others run faster. To race with most would be a disaster. But I don't care if they seem greater. I trust in me, the alligator. My confidence is plain to see. I have learned to trust in me. The pyramid will teach you too. Be confident, believe in you. Confidence, exclaims Inch. That's the final block of the pyramid. Be confident and believe in yourself. Hey, thanks, Katrina. Hooray, they shout, jumping up and down on Elbert's sensitive snout. And that's all it takes. Elbert lets forth a gigantic alligator sneeze. Cuckoo, cachoo, cachoo, cachoo. Inch and miles fly off Elbert's nose like rockets shot into space. For what seems like a long, long time, Inch and Miles sail through creamy cotton clouds. They hear strange sounds like thunder in a bottle, rain in a tea kettle, and lightning crackling upside down and sideways. What'll happen next? Cuthud. Inch and Miles land with a thump and a bump. Welcome back, a familiar voice tells Inch and Miles. That tells them they are back with their favorite teacher. It's Mr. Wooden, they shout with glee. And what they see in the classroom makes them even happier. It's his pyramid of success. All the blocks are in place, from Axelrod's hard work to Albert's confidence and all of the blocks in between. As Inch gives the shiny silver whistle back to Mr. Wooden, the wise old teacher asks them to listen again to Billy Jean. Success isn't having trophies or toys. It isn't a medal or friends of your choice. What is success? That's easy to see. It's trying to be the best you can be. Don't worry about what others may have or might say. When trying your best, success comes your way. Inch and Miles are pleased. They have discovered the meaning of true success. And summer vacation is about to begin. What could be better? As the final school bell rings, Inch and Miles head toward the classroom door. But before they leave, they turn and thank their teacher. See you next year, Mr. Wooden. Have a great summer. And thank you for teaching us about your pyramid of success. And then Inch and Miles race out to play with their friends. Mr. Wooden smiles a great big smile. He is happy too. Teaching kids about success is what he loves to do most of all. It's simple, he says, to the now empty classroom. Just follow the pyramid. He gives the shiny silver whistle a soft booty toot toot, wraps it up in the green cloth, and puts it back in his desk. And that, boys and girls, is the end of our story. But it's just the beginning for you. Now it's time for you to follow the pyramid to discover the great things inside each and every one of you. 
So let's thank Coach Wooden for his fantastic pyramid of success. You know, many consider him the greatest coach ever. And finally, a big shout out to his pals, Inch and Miles, and the Women's Tennis Association and all their great people. See you later at the top of the pyramid of success.